Right, 24 February 2021, and I'm joined by Mr. Tinashe Jonasi for a special appearance. There is a very special reason why we have Mr. Jonasi back today. How are you, sir? Ah, uh, you know, it's always a, a pleasure. Uh, I feel like I've got a gold medal, but just a mere invitation at Gambaku Media. Thank you very much, sir. And um, today I want us to go straight into this topic, Kembo Muhadi. Today, when we woke up, we woke up to announcements and statements that he had resigned. So, Temba Mliswa, you can see the, the, the tweet on the screen. He says, if what I'm hearing is true and VP Muhadi has resigned, what precedent does this set? If alleged immorality affects a single man so drastically, what is going to happen to married government ministers and MPs? So I think you saw this particular tweet by Temba yes. Mliswa. So True. everyone thought Temba uh, uh, Mohadi had resigned. And then there was this guy. I don't know if you saw this guy. Yeah, I saw. I saw. Uh, they say Mohadi. Yes, they say well, Mnangagwa is now refusing the letter of Mohadi, the resignation letter of Mohadi. So if you look at that picture at the bottom, about an hour before Temba Mliswa, they were saying Mnangagwa is now refusing the resignation letter of Mohadi. What do you think happened? Was Mohadi supposed to, to resign today and was his resignation rejected? Okay. First, I wanted to... Uh... I wanted to, as a matter of fact, I wanted us to be able, as a nation, I think we've got a problem of uh, the distinction between opinions, perceptions, uh, or ideas against the facts or conclusive information or scientific data or whatever we can call it. I think as a nation, we are struggling uh, between those two. Uh, which is uh, again it, it, the, the capacity to to take us to to conscience of knowing what is right, what is wrong. In short, uh, there are two possibilities here. This is, but it, we, we we should approach this clearly as as specula spec speculative, uh, because we don't have any facts. The the possibility uh, the possibility a is that he could have resigned, and the president also. Uh, considering that he has lost a plus or minus ministers, six ministers already in a space, uh, in a short space, uh, probably the president uh, obviously to appoint someone as a VP, it 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 shows a great uh, respect, great belief, and uh, no and and not no doubt about his loyalty. Uh, so now. To lose a VP again after almost six ministers, uh, I think the, the president also would, would think this would obviously uh, destabilize his administration and the government. Uh, and uh, under that, again, possibility, uh, this VP is, is not going to resign and be, become a happy man because he's still having questions as to who did this the bugging or hacking or or whether it's i mean it's it's, it's architecture engineering of it whatever it is so this question that who did this is obviously suspecting his own enemies within the zanu pf uh, and also he might even suspect that maybe the president knows this uh, so it's 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 it, it will also not not good for their own relationship and uh, for the country because a VP is a powerful person. Who, okay. Who, yes. I, I hear you. So let's read through this letter. It's a very short letter. It's a one page okay. letter. So okay. I want us to go through it. Okay. Greetings to you, citizens of this great nation. I begin by extending my great appreciation to the president of the Republic of Zimbabwe. Comrade Idim Nangagwa, for entrusting me with the huge responsibility to deputize him under the new dispensation. Fellow Zimbabweans, 
following the recent social media hype about my alleged illicit relationship with two married women, I have decided to come open and respond to the allegations being peddled by my detractors. Despite growing impatience because of days of weird character assassination, I wish to categorically state that the allegations being leveled against me are not only false, but well choreographed to demean, con condescend, and sow my image as a national leader and patriot. I'm aware that my right to private has been trashed in terms of Section 157D of the Constitution of Zimbabwe, which reads as follows. Every person has the right to privacy, which includes the right not to have the privacy of their communications infringed. Despite the noisy noise in the digital media eco, ecologies, I wish to clearly state that I am innocent and a victim of political machinations being peddled through hacking and voice cloning. Fellow Zimbabweans, despite the destiny, the density of the allegations being leveled against me, I salute the support from fellow Zimbabweans, colleagues and comrades who fully grasp the rigid complexities of the concocted enemy attacks. It is against this backdrop that I am categorically distancing myself from the imagined immoral unions. The camaraderie and support given to me during this trying hour is greatly appreciated that these faceless netizens have blended well network digital architecture to re-engineer the spaces for political demonization will not dampen my spirit as a tried and tested Kada. I remain a committed leader, father, Kada, and servant of the great nation. Right. Mr. Jonas, this is the full letter from Kembo Mahadi. I've got the video, but it's not, it doesn't have sound, so I'm not going to play it. Yeah. Okay. What is he saying here? Every person has a right to privacy, which includes the right not to have their privacy of their communication infringed. Is he admitting that it's him speaking on that audio, on those videos or audios? Okay. Uh, let me start by finishing the, other, the earlier question, the possibility of him residing and not. The, uh, yes. Then I, I go to the B, that it B, it, probably the, the people who are behind uh, the whole plan probably are the ones who rushed to, to start speculating that he has resigned. Maybe in order to hypnotize him or to, to massage him into resigning. So that if they, if they eventually win, I think those are my two possibilities. Okay, and but let's go to that to that uh, second question. No, 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 no. I, I, saying, second question. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's saying his right to privacy has been infringed. He is he admitting here that it's him speaking in those videos. Oh, right. audios. Uh, I would want you to go back to the statement that he is saying. Um, uh, is this a statement which you which you read, which talked about uh, a, a result of uh, cloning, voice cloning, and and the, something like bugging? Uh, I Hacking. think it's earlier. Uh, it's that statement is very important before we, we we proceed to the to that one. Okay, L let me let me look at this statement again. Yeah. It's the same sentence. Yeah, Despite yeah, the didn't... noise in the digital media ecologies. Yes. I wish to clearly state that I'm innocent and yeah. a victim of political machinations being peddled through hacking and voice cloning. Yes, there. Uh, uh, that, st that part is very, very telling before we go to the, the, the constitutional uh, article that he, he read. What is telling there? The fact part, he is saying, uh, I'm innocent. He's, he is saying he's innocent. That's the first part. Now, the second part of that same uh, statement says it's as a result of uh, the, the hacking and voice cloning. These two things are contradictory. 
by saying i'm innocent it means everything was done outside of your 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 your, your life it was done in the spaces of your distractors because there is no link between you and the distractors except they used your voice now the clone they, they used someone's voice and then cloning that means the, the duplicating it uh, those who do who know su 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 sound uh, signs they understand now if you are innocent but now you are talking of uh, if you are innocent it means these audios they, they've got nothing to do with you at all 100% but now when he says um uh, hacking and clowning voice clowning he is already telling us that there was hacking of his phone in collection of this data when these audios were made now the question is what what was the hacking for a the the hacking was to to just under maybe general information of maybe who is he in love with maybe that was the general information and then probably augment it or exaggerate it in the in the in the cl cloning voice cloning or uh, or they collected raw data pure information uh, because there's the element of hacking maybe the cloning voice cloning came in when they collected primary uh, data and then they exaggerated to put maybe the 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 vulgar or whatever it may be the cloning but to me there's an this is telling that the there is there is the 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 voice notes have got some uh, i mean they, they was hacking so to me he is admitting that hacking took place is he is he just not lying okay because uh, no. I want us to be to be honest here, because yes. we don't want to take people for granted. Okay. The woman is saying, "I'm coming to office, yeah, and I've got some papers to for you to sign, and yeah, are you going to be able to read?" And he's saying, "No, you know my eyes are a problem." That conversation yes. cannot be cloned. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I, I am saying, remember, we should not. Uh, uh, say it as a matter of fact we should do we should discuss it with the info, information available i am saying uh, by saying there was hacking faith is saying is innocent when you are innocent it means that the whole data uh, the whole in the voice notes they have nothing to do with your your, your person nothing to do but when he says a result of hacking and cloning he is admitting that his person these spaces were invaded. No one can invade your, your space and come out with nothing. Even a thief, when they come into your house through a, a burglary, house burglary, they, would, they can even collect, they can even eat your food and go out because they, 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 they want to compensate themselves for the effort. Uh, maybe they wanted money and, you know. So I am saying here, uh, for me, judging from the, the statement, uh, his phones, this is spaces, private spaces of phones were invaded by bugging, meaning they they successfully bugged him. Then they collected some data. Now the question is, was the data collected twenty percent, and then they exaggerated it? Was they the, a, a, a raw voice of him? Maybe he was talking nice, not not swearing, and then they added the swearing. And whatever, that is the question now. But there's, to me, there's no doubt that his phone were hacked and the raw data, pure data was collected. From that statement, my own interpretation, he was hacked. Meaning the word innocent is now diluted. The word I'm innocent becomes diluted because we should use these own words. I, 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 every Zimbabwe must believe that he, he is innocent because he is saying that. But now, after we believe that he is innocent, 
because he, that's what he said. We need now to interpret the information available uh, in his statement. Uh, I think the word I'm innocent is already diluted and it's already um, uh, in, in serious trouble because he is admitting hacking. Okay, L let's go to the story that he resigned. Okay. Why would Idim Nangagwa allow someone so tarnished to remain in office? All right. Um, I, I like to, my, my witness must be the statements of the VP. Um, where do I get this? Um, where do I get this information to answer you? The information is contained in a statement that um, uh, His Excellence uh, will determine my future. What do we get from that statement? That, that statement tells us that he, as, as he declared that he's innocent, but now he is facing reality. What is the reality? The reality is that his job is 50% safe and 50% unsafe. Now, he is at the, at the crossroads of his political career. And no matter he, is, him, he doesn't want to resign. Why he doesn't want to resign and is not planning to resign? Because this is this answer is contained in the statement i am a, a tried and tested i joined the politics in 1971 before all of you referring to journalists were even born nothing of this sort has ever happened by giving a time frame of playing politics probably over 50 years and this has never happened he is now questioning uh, by the evidence of time that if i if this couldn't happen in 50 years why is it happening now meaning i am innocent and this is my evidence of time and when someone is defending himself uh, to 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 that extent it means they want to stay innocent and they are not related to any guilty conscience. They are not accepting it. So Mr. Moadi, from those data, data, is not ready to resign unless told by the president. If the president say you should resign, he is ready to accept it. But on his own accord, even this press statement was an opportunity for him to announce this resignation. Okay, Mr. Jonas, I get you. And I think we, we don't have the details. But in my view, something is just about to happen to Mohadi. It's not going to end well for him, one way or the other. Because we've got the, the husbands involved, some of them in the CIO. I'm sure there are other people he had affairs with their wives that are much more dangerous, who are behind this whole release. So very, very soon we'll know what is happening here. So let's proceed to another topic, except if you wanted to add anything there. No, 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 I, I, would, I would have wanted us now to go to your earlier question. Now Now we can reach at the, the, the chapter or 57 of the Constitution. You, you can read that statement again. Okay, all right, cool. Let me, let me go back to that statement. I'm aware that my right to privacy has been trashed in terms of Section 57D of the Constitution of Zimbabwe, Amendment Number 20, Act 2013, which reads as follows. Every person has the right to privacy, which includes the right not to have their privacy of their communication infringed. So if you want to read this letter, if you go to gambako.com now, this is the top story there. You can see this letter. Is there a special meaning to this? And uh, we have got a lot of uh, me uh, uh, meaning there. Uh, remember, the earlier, the earlier part of this statement was, I am innocent. 
and then Correct. he talk, he talked about uh, bugging uh, or hacking and voice cloning which contradicted the innocent now this is now to quote the constitution that i everyone has got a right to privacy why is this saying his right of uh, his right of sorry uh, of privacy was the uh, was the uh, infringed Trust. infringed it tried through through his communications now this is the feather he is playing a victim here a victim of what cyber terrorism the earlier voice cloning and 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 hacking is now the reason why they is running to the constitution of zimbabwe to say but look uh, why why did you bug my my why did you, you hack my phone because it's 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 a crime I, this statement is communicating to the to the people who hacked his phone that what you did was a criminal activity and what i was doing with my phone was my right to communicate i was not committing a crime in in making calls whatsapp sms's whatever what you did to my phone was a crime here he, to me he is the agreeing is is confessing that he, he made calls although to what to, to what extent we, we don't know but he is also admitting that he, there were people who hacked him and infringed his right to privacy his right to communicate i think the the bugging is still going on the hacking is, is on is real okay I think let us pack this topic and okay. I want us to look at the reaction of the opposition in Zimbabwe because to me this is a golden opportunity to totally embarrass Mnangagwa and they are failing to take advantage of it especially the MDC alliance if okay. I was Nelson Chamisa right now I would be making Mnangagwa's life so hard that Mohadi would just resign by himself. But I don't see them doing that. Because this is uh, women abuse. You can turn it to anything. Women abuse, uh, doing things in the office you're not supposed to be doing, incompetence, lying. There are so many things they could be doing, but they're not doing it. Why do you think they're so, they're failing to capitalize on this? All right. Uh, first, I want to talk about the, Zim the Zimbabwe I want as Dinashe, the Zimbabwe I wish. The Zimbabwe I want is, because I don't want to speak on behalf of every, every Zimbabwe. I want to speak on behalf of myself. I want a Zimbabwe that we build each other because we, we don't need to build a country be we, we, before building people first. Zimbabwe is Zimbabwe because of the citizens. So a, a, a Zimbabwe must be a Zimbabwe that we don't celebrate anyone who is in trouble. Because we, no one has got hard copy evidence that Mr. Mohadi is 100% lying. Mr. Mohadi is 100% innocent. In this discussion, me and you, Mr. Gambakwe, I think you would appreciate we are relying on any information we get from the audio, from the statement, from anything, we are stumbling through information that doesn't give us a scientific conclusion. Uh, now, it was different if there was a, a, a camera in the office and then they meet briefly, they talk on camera, they remove clothes and they make love. That kind of, of video is different from any audio because uh, I am, you are in, we, me and you, we are in the space of media. Uh, you can even make a video and clone even a video to look like someone else. And a person can even be fired. A, a, a voice cloning is, is true. Without even cloning the voice scientific, with the signs of, of sound, a person can even imitate 
uh, these days you can even Google. You can even, sorry, on YouTube. You can even if, uh, YouTube how to imitate someone's voice. And you can do it even at almost 90%. Uh, it's it's as easy as like that as A B C. You can even Google YouTube on YouTube. You can even search how to do sound cloning. It, it's it's as easy as like that. Now what okay. I'm saying Mr. is, Jonas, I, I think let, let's not take people for granted. You cannot oh, yeah? teach people to speak Venda or Sutu. So th the problem that we have here, yeah, is that the the information that is being exchanged and the mm -hmm. language that is being used yeah. can only be used by one man. Mm -hmm. And so, to me, he is lying. Okay, that is even worse than what he did, which was to 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 record those audios or to be recorded, because. That language you are speaking, how many people in Zimbabwe can speak it? Uh, do, do you mean the, the Tswana language? I think you are speaking in, in Sotho or in Venda when you are speaking to, the, uh, to Luba. No, 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 it, it was not it was not Venda. Uh, on record, it, that, that's not Venda. Uh, that, that, that is related to uh, it's under, the, I don't know the category they call it, but it, it, it's Tswana, Sotho uh, between the two. Because they are related, uh, they are like Shona. There's uh, there's uh, Chikaranga from Mashingo and Zezuru. Uh, I, 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 I understand the language, uh, although okay. I can't I can't I can't differentiate between Tswana and Sutu. Because as a person who stays in Pretoria, Pretoria unfortunately it it, is, it, it speaks the, the mix of Tswana, Sutu, and Dispedi. The, the, the whole three languages are mixed in Pretoria. Uh, as the capital city, but if you go to Polokwane, it's purely Spedi. If you go to Northwest Province, it's purely Tswana, and then the Free Start Province and Lesotho, it's a purely Sutu. So, uh, because I'm in Pretoria where they mix all the three, I can't tell, but I'm fluent uh, with the language. Uh, it's not Fender. Okay, but what he's saying there, I want to have a baby. They had already discussed it, and she says no. Okay. Right. Yeah. That means they've talked prior. They're talking in a language which no, not many Zimbabweans speak. And okay. now he's saying he, he did not okay. record. He was cloned. That's a lie. Okay. That's a lie. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Gamakwe. Uh, I, I, yeah. I, appreciate, I appreciate your view, your viewpoint. Uh, I, I just want to repeat it. Uh, your viewpoint is that he, no one can clone that because the, it's only him who can speak that language. Uh, fine. I am, I am Tinashe Jonasi. I can speak the, that language uh, fine. Now, let, let, let's take your viewpoint that no one speaks the language to him. Now, the people who, were, who, who remember that, he, that he audio has got English subtitles. <laughs> Correct. And, and those English subtitles are correctly uh, written. They match. The, the 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 voice uh, the audio uh, the oral uh, 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 I mean uh, communication now considering your viewpoint that it's the only VP who can speak that language now those who who who, 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 in the, who wrote the the English subtitles it means they know how to speak the language I agree with you there but the conversation that is taking place. Yeah. It's not a conversation that is happening for the first time. It's between people who know each other. And he doesn't tell her which hotel. He just says, come to the hotel. It means she has been there before. Okay. The, the, what he's saying and what is being said and what, how he's defending himself. Okay. It doesn't match up. He, he's but, only saying the two women, two married women. He's not dating them. If you look in this letter, there's no way where he's saying... He did not date the, the single girls. Okay. Okay. Uh, before we go to single girls, uh, Mr. Gambakwe, I want you to understand this. When, when someone, I'm not saying, uh, I'm not saying VP Mohadi is the, is the 100% innocent here. 
neither am I saying it's hundred percent lying. I I think I I hope this discussion won't be conclusive because to for us to be conclusive, we need hard facts that won't be challenged by anyone. But I think to, our constitution of Zimbabwe won't allow anyone any sitting to conclude to have conclusive in data unless it's a competent court of law if we are going by our constitution all right now when someone is fighting a vp it means that that person you a a, 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 a shepherd of cows in gope can't fight the vp as poor as a food a, a, a you can't fight a vp anyone let, let's assume there's someone fighting the vp that person is not poor that person is not stupid that person is also connected in other words you are as good as your opponent if in boxing you are challenging a world champion you even if you can be defeated you must be at least above 70 percent or at least three quarters of your opponent because you can't challenge someone at is 100 percent a champion and you you are around five percent you can be beaten and die in the ring. Anyone who challenges the VP must be closer or equal to the VP. Now, that person has got the capacity to hire anyone. These small boys are good. He's got the, the capacity to hire people who can be professionals to write a script and to do something which can be a good job. It, it's, 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 like, it's, it's like the VP, maybe, or someone, a minister, want to kill someone. Of course, he can be convicted, but he would try to get expert advice, advice on how to clean himself. So let's not underestimate the people who can fight the VP if you, indeed people are fighting the VP. I'm trying to run away for, from this discussion to conclude and say a, a VP is lying. Because if we do that, we might be answerable to someone who says, guys, what are you using? Because I, I want my country, I wish my country to run away from opinions, to treat opinions as facts. The moment you, in our country, we, we understand the difference of an opinion and a fact. That's why in Zimbabwe, we are not united. We are fighting. Why? Because if I've got an opinion of Mr. Gambakwe, I would take it as a fact and probably even kill you or hate you and forget something in my mind is an opinion it must be taken out on on the ground and be proven on the ground as evidence but as okay. long i'm using as long a person is using his mind to interpret to analyze that person is thinking Thinking and, and thought processes must be obviously fluid. They are, not, they are invisible. But a, a, a conclusive data must be something tangible. That something tangible or a confession or trying someone until they, they can stammer and, and, and whatever. That's why I say, according to the Zimbabwe constitution, conclusive data must be obtained from a court of law outside court of law it must be opinions and okay. ideas I, I, get you, I, I get you mr jonas i think i want to add, answer david and I, I want us to go into the real politics here okay and i, I hope chamisa is listening to this <laughs> and i want him to know that this is the golden opportunity to get rid of zanu pf if you are presented with an opportunity like this and you're an opposition party, I think this is this is manna from heaven. Mr. Jonas, you, you don't want to take this point. You don't want to answer this question that I'm asking you. Why okay, they I'm... are not capitalizing on such a damaging piece of information on okay. a vice president, not only one, but two. Chuenga okay. last week, uh, General Chuenga was in the news for a similar uh, item. And now we have uh, VP Mohadi 
on the same issue of abusing young married women and our opposition is not capitalizing. Okay. What kind of strategy is that? Thank you so much, Mr. Gambakwe. Uh, I, I hope from my opinion, you are not a politician. From my opinion, okay. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> I spend so much time with politicians. Uh, 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 no, you don't become a politician by association. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. So if my opinion says Mr. Gambagwe is not a politician, is a journalist, it means Mr. Gambagwe doesn't think like a politician. It's just my opinion. Okay. Now, uh, let me come to politicians. First, let me answer on, on let me talk, uh, let me think, uh, let me have an opinion of Chamisa. Chamisa will never capitalize on the weaknesses of ZANU PF because he doesn't know how to capitalize. Unless you teach him how to capitalize. <laughs> Thank you on that. Uh, now, um, then we talk about uh, the opposition. Yeah, Chamisa no capitalization in anything. Even ZANU PF people can sleep uh, or in the whole country and they are sleeping. Chamisa is even afraid to walk into, into state house, which is empty. So, Chamisa, uh, let's leave him. Let the boy grow up. Okay. Now, um, in terms of other opposition political parties in Zimbabwe, um, I, if I think and scratch my head to come up with another opposition party again, I, 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 I still want to grow in politics to understand that there's an opposition party in Zimbabwe. Uh, I think I will learn as I grow, as I mature. But for now, Mr. Gambagwa, I think uh, I can give someone a million runs if I've got it. If I can get a sponsor, I can give someone a one million runs if someone can tell me if any opposition party in Zimbabwe. Okay, that's my opinion. Okay, now uh, if, let's assume there was any opposition party in Zimbabwe. That opposition party was not going to capitalize. Why? Uh, you need calculated effort in life. Otherwise, you make noise and make noise and make noise and, and produce nothing. Uh, the keys of, who, of who, the fate of who, VP Kembo Mohadi, the keys are in the hands of who, uh, ED. Now, if ED fires VP, uh, v, the VP, no opposition party has won anything. No relevance, no nothing. Because the this is a, an issue concerning an individual. It's not a party issue. And again, let our problem in Zimbabwe is that politics is dividing us. Why politics is dividing us? We politicize everything. If a VP, let's say the VP is wrong, he indeed dated these women, and he indeed is the one in the voice notes. That has got nothing to do with ZANU PF. Because the, when you join ZANU PF, you don't you don't sign a form that says I won't sleep around, I won't uh, I won't be rec bad, I won't be hacked. A, 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 a person who joins ZANU PF is a normal person who can die, who can be sick, who can make small mistakes, medium or huge mistakes. ED as the president of ZANU PF doesn't have control. Of people to make mistakes. Today, Chamisa is a former vice tre national treasurer, deputy treasurer, left the party to join ZANU PF. Uh, no one would make noise about that. Why? Because the, most people who are members of MDC are former ZANU PF people. Because before ZANU PF was the dominating party, people move from ZANU to MDC. Tonde uh, was also did a sexy scandal. Morgan Changrai himself did a sexy scandal. Nelson Chamisa himself is a sexy scandal involving Fazai Mayere and whatever. I mean, the, the, and some scandal involving his doctor, uh, 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 what, uh, Ngov, I'm forgetting, he's a spokesperson. Okay. It's, Can it's, I stop you? Can I stop you, Mr. Jonas? Yes. In the history of Zimbabwe, yeah. there is no person that has done what Kebo Mahadi has done. You know why? Because uh -huh. there are voice notes of him talking 
not one okay. or two, a lot of them. Okay. So in okay. the history of Zimbabwe, yeah. this is the worst sex scandal in the presidium of Zimbabwe. Okay. Okay. And I, 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 I want need to... To, to put that in context. Okay. It, it depends how you, you, you look at it. Because why? 20 episodes of MDC, they had the pictures in a lodge. Uh, that's number one. We, we also have the uh, Bishop Pius Nure, who was a bishop uh, ordained to, to, to impart purity to the nation, to the world. If I'm not mistaken, he was not only the bishop in, in South Zimbabwe, probably in southern region, something like that, southern Africa. Uh, he had the pictures and the videos of making love to over 20 women. Uh, where he stays, I, I forgot the name where, uh, of a place where a bishop, a Catholic bishop stays. I forgot the name. A uh, bishop, uh, the whole bishop, he proven that he slept with over 20 women. He was on, on, on pictures and on, on videos, but it, 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 you know, Sunday mail released everything. How do you compare a leader in, in, a, in, a, in a nation, political leader, to a bishop in Southern Africa who slept with more than 20 women? Maybe here we are talking about alleged three, two married women. Alleged two married women. This guy slept with over 20. Beyond Bishop Pius Nube. Personally, I think Bishop Pius Nube, and he accepted and he resigned. And as you know, he is dead now. No, no, not, not literally dying, uh, but he, uh, he, he is working underground with shame. I, I personally would pick B B Pius Nube because it's now a matter of fact that he did it, he couldn't deny it. Now, this is a matter of someone who is pleading innocence. That's why I said, in the case of VP Mohadi, it's 50, yes, 50, no, only a competent court or thorough investigations uh, which are conclusive, which can be led by military intelligence or the central intelligence organizations. Uh, maybe outside the court, maybe these two organizations, but it's too, even if they find information, it must be submitted to court. Was he denying? So he would probably challenge the information. So uh, I think if, if God can, we need a, a, a lifestyle in Zimbabwe that can be grace sustaining uh, in a way that we can, we, we don't rush to vilify. Because sometimes you, 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 you vilify and uh, things can prove wrong. I, I, I would like to give an example. I was staying somewhere in Namibia with my brother, my cousin brother, and my hundred rand on the table, in two minutes, it got lost. It, it went missing. And who, who would I, I suspect except my, my cousin brother? But I later realized after almost five hours that I put the man in the back pocket. But I never, I never thought that I had put the man in my pocket. But later on, when I wanted to change it, to, sorry, to, to take uh, the key from the back pocket, the man came and I confronted him. I even wanted the physical fight. And he ran away and stayed next door. I, I mean, sometimes we, 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 we use opinions as facts and it proved wrong. And what do we do? We would just apologize. But the damage is done. Okay, you, you know what I want. I wish for Mr. Jonas. I wish for two things. Yeah. yeah, I wish these guys who recorded him, yeah, have got video and they're waiting him for to make this very mistake that is made today. Thank and you. then they will release it so that they can show him once and for all that lying does not pay. That Thank is the you, first Mr. thing. The, yeah. the second thing I wish for, I wish for Nelson Chamisa to wake up and capitalize on this situation. Okay, so this is my my side of view. Okay. I, I see I see what you're saying, but from my side, there will be another. There will never be another opportunity like this one to okay. shake the pres the presidium of Zanu okay. Pier because this okay. is the opportunity now. They've made an own goal. Okay, both of Thank them. Thank you so much, General Chwenga and uh, and Mohadi. Thank you so much, Mr. Gambakwe. Uh, remember, as a Zimbabwean, you should speak. And as a journalist, uh, you can speak times 100. Now, uh, the, the fact we, I want to tell you why you are wishing 
for the guys who, who, who did the video to the, the audios to come up with videos or whatever. You know why you are wishing? You are wishing because there's they, 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 there's no videos. You know, and they and I'm not here saying nothing will come out tomorrow. I'm not saying VP won't resign, probably and confess. I'm not saying the his excellence won't fire him, but I am saying within the parameters of this discussion, we don't have the conclusive data to say is is lying in his press statement or is uh, that's why you are wishing. But you are wishing uh, Bill Clinton said, "I I I I I never inhaled it." I never inhaled it. <laughs> In, <laughs> I, I, I think that statement can tell you how desperate he was trying to deny. In, 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 literally, he was saying, I never smelled it. And the question is what? Okay. Now, and the facts came in and in and in, and then he confessed. Uh, I am saying there are two things here that can guide this discussion to, to conclusion. One, a confession from the VP himself. Secondly, a, a trial of this matter in the competent court of law. But other than that, Mr. Gambako and Mr. Jonasi must accept to discuss and discuss and use our education from the, 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 the from the our country uh, literacy uh, blessings or anointments but otherwise if we act as judges chamisa again chamisa i said if it's an UPF supporters uh, members and the president mnangagwa vps they sleep for a week because maybe they are ill chamisa would not walk into a state house which is empty Chamisa is talented in speeches. Uh, maybe we should do, uh, if, uh, if those who are cloning voices must hire Chamisa so that he can provide the voice services as a voice artist. If you see a, a politician in Chamisa, Mr. Gambakwe, one day I'll buy you cows if you've got a farm. I, I wish I can have money and cows. I'll donate to your farm. After even five years, if you still see a politician in Chamisa, Okay. Okay. I, I think let's wrap it up, uh, Mr. Jonasi. We have had a long discussion. There was obviously the rumor that started today in the morning, everyone saying Mohadi had resigned. He did not attend a, a certain meeting. I, I don't know because he, he had resigned. And then this guy said Munangagwa did not accept his resignation. And then obviously we've talked about this case. Is he telling the truth or not? His letter that he, he read out to the public and, and denying that he was in love with um, with these women. And you say that it's possible that he's telling the truth. It's possible that his phones were cloned. And it's possible that there was editing that took place because it's possible these days to, to do all those things. You also said the opposition in Zimbabwe of Chamisa who never take advantage of such a situation, which I called a golden opportunity. If I was the leader of the opposition in Zimbabwe, one of those two, uh, General Chuenga or Muhadi, was going to be out of office. We are going to make a point. <laughs> but these guys are failing to do it. So where, where to next? Let's okay. say, is this the end of this whole situation? No, 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 no. This is not the end. Uh, re remember, we, we, we are looking at possible uh, permutations or outcomes here. Uh, the, the first outcome is that he, after the press statement, uh, the HE is, was also watching the statement, and he, these are comrades in arms. And he, I think there's a tendency when someone, I mean, in Africa, there's polygamy in Africa. There's the word polygamy, that's number one. But I don't know if the polygamy is only a, a man, a married man who can have more women, 
I don't know if he, because women are fighting for 50 50. I don't know if it, and officially now women are also polygamist, but unofficially. <laughs> okay, fine. Secondly, the word the small house, small house in Zimbabwe, it, it can be famous more than ED and famous more than VP Mohadi. The word small house. If they can be a hashtag small house, it can crack the internet. Why the word the word uh, uh, I, I was I was watching a, a week ago on Tilda uh, Tilda Moyo, the Facebook page, and I think uh, um, yeah, there was a plate of uh, sada or pap done nicely, uh, and uh, it was said when a small house does this, it's a declaration of war. And it's normal in our society. Why? The way the small house is trending because the Zimbabwean men have got a tendency of having a, a side we say side dish, whatever. But when someone has got some allegations or a scandal, every Zimbabwean man suddenly forgets about the small house. Every Zimbabwean man suddenly becomes an angel. And all our women, a man to have a small house. He must have a woman, a woman as a small house. In this case, considering VP Mohadi, indeed, he was uh, dating these, these women. Cheating uh, is got 50% a woman, 50% a man, unless it's a homo, uh, it's a it's a homo uh, a relationship, it's a gay relationship whether let's be in a relationship or transgender, whatever it is. Now, considering that he, he cheating demands a man and a woman, why then would we vilify a man more than a woman? Because a man has got a, a bigger job, fine. A man has got more money, fine. The woman who has got a lower financial status. If this women, were well, this women loving the VP, I, I want to believe the answer is no. If they were loving the VP, they were going to dump their men. The VP has got enough money to, to, to sponsor a, that woman a divorce proceedings to file with lawyers, best lawyers in town. If it, these women, they never dumped their, their, their men. Why? Because they loved their men. Why were, were they supposedly in love with the VP? They wanted his money. In one of the audios, we hear a lady saying, I want money or 1,000 US, I can't remember, for uh, society or that club for women. I mean, you, they wanted their, their, the, the, the VP. If you sleep with a man for money, are you not a prostitute? We don't want to look at all these dynamics. I, I want a Zimbabwe that everyone is innocent. Those who are who are alleged to have done something, if we don't have conclusive data, can we give them an opportunity? And I, I feel if President E.D. can fire VP Mohadi, he would do heavy acted uh, based on the, on the uh, uh, public opinion. I, I want to see if, if, if the president fires VP, I would want to see what statement is he going to issue. And in that statement, I would want to, to, to interpret a, a matter of fact. Because the, it, if the president does that, and without the conclusive data, it means the, anyone, cyber terrorist, cyber terrorism is going to be at a, la, a highest level in Zimbabwe. We are, right now, Mr. Gambakwe, I, I was watching, I was seeing on social media a picture of VP Chwenga not wearing clothes. Uh, it was clear that was a Photoshop. Uh, and a, a certain friend of mine who knows how to test, uh, they call them IP address and everything of internet because he has got a, 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 a master's. In, in, in digital security. 
he, 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 saw, he showed me a picture of the original person, which was okay. not General Chuenga. And he has helped me with a lot of photoshopped stuff. But I, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not standing and owning that he, it was a lie. But it can't be correct, Mr. Gambakwe, that he, in, 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 the, in, the, in the school, in, in the court of public opinion, that he, within one week or within one month, both the VPs are being exposed. Why, why is it like that? This year has got 12 months. Why can't February, at least we are dealing with the VP Mohadi, and then somewhere, somewhere in June or August or September, there's an issue of Mr. Chiwenga. Uh, to me, I, I, I smell a rat, although I don't know if it's a rat or it's a mouse. Okay, Mr. Janasi, you have said a lot uh, about this topic. I, I think you are one of the people that has been very engaged in this topic. And uh, uh, as, as we are just about to close, I asked you, is this the end? Do no. you think these guys are coming after Mnangagwa? They are okay. just waiting to see what he's going to do. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, okay. The first thing, I appreciate there's the Lacoste, Zanu PF Lacoste, uh, that he that defeated uh, ZANU PF G40, uh, which is the Kasukuere, Patrick Joao, uh, Grace Mugabe, Chombo, Nelson Chamisa, uh, whatever you can call G40. Uh, so that's the first fight that is obvious. Then the second fight uh, is the uh, VP's post, which is the uh, from the 1987, December 1987, unit accord, ZAPU, ZANU PF, uh, ZAN, it, it reserved for, ZANU, for ZAPU. And uh, in ZAPU, obviously, there are the, the, the other comrades uh, that can include even people like uh, the comrade SK Moyo and others. I'm not saying they are the ones who are fighting him, but uh, it can be a source of the fight. And Within ZANU PF as a party, obviously the position of being a vice president, it it has got a, a lot because you, you, your chances of becoming a president they are high. So obviously it's normal in a country where 15 million Zimbabweans, everyone just wants to be a president, and the country is going down because Zimbabweans are not fighting to 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 build the nation. Everyone is fighting to be a president or fighting for your candidate to be a president. Okay. I want to quickly play you this. This came out on 10 February. I want us to listen to it. it it's very short. And let's okay. see what this guy is saying. Okay. I saw a line of people that we stood. These people... They were wearing formal clothes like they are official people. So as I was looking at them, what surprised me is that they were all putting a flag on their neck, like they were something like a flag on their neck. Like I think some of you, you know, that uh, something like that one uh, our president usually loves to put on the neck. It's a scarf or something like that, but it was a flag. That was like a scarf. So I was looking at them and say, why are these people like he's standing in a line? They were standing like in a line way by they're standing like this and they're looking on the other side. Not a line like a cube. No, a line like a rock. Like there is a vetting that is about to happen, but it was not a vetting. So I was standing from afar. So I was looking in that vision to try to see what exactly are these people trying to do? What are they doing? Why are they in the queue? So some of the people that were there, their faces, I know them. Some of them, their faces, I don't know them. And now, as they were standing like that, now, I saw a man that appeared in front of them. And this man started moving 
and you find that the he goes to the left, he goes to the right, he goes to the left, he goes to the right. Like he's searching for somebody or he's searching for someone. He was looking, fixing his eyes on each and every person. And it's like he was, I don't know, it's like he, he wanted to see somebody or he wanted, he was searching for somebody from the, from the, from the row of the people that was standing. And these people, they were political people because they were in flag. They were political people. They are people that are into politics or government officials, something like that. It has to be because obviously, if a person can wear formal and put a scarf in the in the, there has to be a connection. It's either government official or it has to be a politician, according to my understanding. In that vision, that's what I was thinking. And the man was moving. He moves to the left. He moves to the right. He was searching around, searching around. And then he stood on the center. And then. As he stood on the center, he started like speaking words. And I heard the words that he was saying, and he said, it is time you stop what you are doing. It is time for you to stop what you are doing. Those are the words that I heard. The angel was speaking. It is time for you to stop what you are doing. So the angel spoke this word seven times. It is time for you to stop what you are doing. It is time for you to stop what you are doing. Seven times. So it was like an angel was speaking these words like he's lecturing to this group. And these are like political people. So I continued to look so that I can see what, what is happening and what will happen after. Then after that, the angel said, if you do not stop what you are doing, I am going to do this. Now, when the angel said, if you don't stop what you are doing, I'm going to do this, then I, I came close to see what he wants to do. Now, in that vision, the people that were standing there, they were not seeing me, but I was also in that vision. And, 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 and I was seeing the angel. Now, I saw the angel now moving again. He moved to the left. He moved to the right. After he had said that if you don't stop what you're doing, I, I will do this, he started to move from the left to the right, to the left to the right again. And then he approached one man. He's one of the highly respected person when it comes to political issues in the nation of Zimbabwe. And I know that person. And the angel stood before him. And I saw the angel removing the coat, the shirts, the trousers, even the underpants. The angel undressed him and he became naked. He became naked. And everybody who was on the row, on the key, on the line, they looked to see, said, oh. Everyone was surprised. Said, oh, what is he doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? And the angel stood again and said, My season to undress certain individuals is coming. Right, Mr. Jonas, I, I, I played you that video that came out on 10 February, and if, if the people who are watching want to go and see more, they can go to gabako.com and just search Zimbabwe government officials to be embarrassed. I like this prophet a lot. He has produced some very, very accurate prophecies. He's called Prophet P. Alpha. And one of the prophecies that he produced this year was that this is going to be a season of change without any force. So things are going to change in Zimbabwe without force. You are going to see a lot of changes this year. The, the reason why I'm bringing this up is, do you think the government of Zimbabwe is just about to implode? Because we are the deaths of many, many ministers. They're not replaced. Now we have this situation in the presidium. If people are coming after Mnangagwa, they're starting with Chuenga, they wait, they go after Muhadi. And then finally, when we get something about Idi Mnangagwa, what do you think is going to happen? All right. Um, thank you. Uh, I don't know whether I, should I comment about the prophet or I should just continue to, to you. Straight no, no, just continue the question I'm asking you. All right. Thank you. Oh, the prophet was more like an advocate. Okay. Yes. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can say it was a commercial break. Okay. Commercial uh, break, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, I think, you know, maybe what I... I think maybe to be Zimbabwean, it means even if, if rain is coming, it's, it's political. It's political. Probably the, the rain is the designed to... To, to take the, the, the presidia of the Limpopo River. Um, I, I think everything is political in Zimbabwe. Uh, I don't blame everyone. Uh, in, in, in this issue of VP uh, Mohadi, I don't see... Uh, remember, we, I, I, I said the issue of Mr. Chiwenga, with the full respect, there's no issue at all. Uh, although... Although people they are trying to make it an issue, uh, the issue of General Chuega, no, no video, no audio, no nothing at all. But because the, everything is political, even the gossip is political. Uh, Mr. Chuega, in this case of Marondera, is uh, it's unfortunate. And uh, if he's listening and watching, I will urge him to. To, to to do to, to honor his God his God or his ancestors, uh, I feel like he, he has got bad like he was. There's nothing to associate to, to drag his name up in, into a matter about the Marondera issue. Uh, fine. Um, concerning, I, I don't see in politics you are under attack. Why are many people in Zimbabwe running to civic society? Many Zimbabweans are running into three into into civic society and call themselves crisis in Zimbabwe coalition. Others are running into into churches. And I think with the rate we are going after twenty years, seventy percent of the population will be prophets. Uh, uh, I think we are so blessed by God that He. So many play prophets are coming into our country, probably more than any other country. Uh, I appreciate. Uh, not, uh, when, you, when you join politics, you are automatically under attack. Visible force, invisible force. Because politics by nature, it's a, it's a game of contestation. But what, what I am praying for, and what Mr. Gambako, you must help me to, and other viewers right now, is to, to, to create an environment that people fight with the strategies without this thing of dirty. Politics is not dirty. And it has never been dirty. And it will never be dirty. What is dirty are the players. If you decide to break someone's leg in a, in a, in a game of, food, of, of soccer, don't say football breaks break legs. You know, being a soccer player doesn't mean to break someone's leg or to break your leg. You know, but if, they, if, if a player is dirty, let's not say the game is dirty. Politics is not dirty. But, so as Zimbabweans, let's have a unit of purpose. What... All these things, look at the, I, I'm, I'm happy you are saying MDC Jamisa must take advantage of this. Uh, there's more drama in MDC Jamisa. Uh, uh, right now, when they is saying, let's mobilize, uh, 2023 is coming. But they, after that, they tell people that Zeke, Zeke is captured by ZANU-PF. Uh, elections are going to be uh, rigged in Zimbabwe. As we speak, they are busy mobilizing. Let's go to the MDC Monzora. Uh, I, I think Mr. Gabago, me and me and you must just buy cameras, go to our best house, put them there, and it, it will be called the Monzora and the Coupe series. I can tell you that the advertisers we can charge them hundred thousand US dollar per thirty seconds advert. That can be the best selling show in Zimbabwe. Uh, the, 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 I mean, that's the Monzora again. And so, w w uh, how can they take advantage of ZANU-PF when they are actually ZANU-PF is enjoying their drama more than what is happening in ZANU. So, politics is a game of uh, you, are, you are under attack when you are in politics. So, let's not say what is happening to, to VP Mohadi is going to come to VP Chwenga and ED. ED is under attack. The day he became a president, 
you are even I, I attacked and fired from the party before even becoming the president. He, he, because he, he was threatening certain people. He was fired. After, uh, so he, he was, was attacked and the people thought he was defeated. He was down and he was not out. He bounced back and became a president. Now, so E.D. has been attacked all his life. And he, remember, he survived the Cholocho de declaration. Uh, I don't know whether Jonathan Moyo was setting E.D. up there or he was on the side of E.D. But Jonathan Moyo is setting up people. He set up E.D., he failed. He, now he, he, he succeeded in setting up Chamisa. Chamisa now is maybe going to form Chamisa Chete Chete. Uh, in that nominal uh, church. But uh, ED is under attack every day. Even wherever he is now, he's under attack and the, there must be some bodyguards now. Why? But Anebora Anumakwa. So the, 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 the term president means a person under attack. And the convoy, presidential guard, the bulletproof cars. Yes. Okay. I think let, let's let's wrap it up here, Mr. Jonasi. I've really enjoyed the conversation. Let's see what develops. I yeah. think something is just about to happen, and it's going to be very, very big. As you said, it's not normal that one week we have another vice president, another one, another week we have another one. And then we were talking a few weeks back about Shingiminyeza, and I think a few weeks earlier, we were talking about another very popular prophet being accused out of the blue of, of having affairs. So we, we are seeing a, a pattern here, and I hope that it will become clear what is happening very, very soon. Is there anything else you want to say before we close? I want to say what is happening. Uh, first, Zimbabweans, let's not talk about the, let's not see any anything that it befell a fellow citizen as the in political terms or oh, golden opportunities <laughs> when a fellow citizen is the, in a certain situation this is not a laughing matter guys uh, le, 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 we need to pray for someone we need to support someone and uh, we, let be a, let, let, we need to be an, a, a nation of love and we should be united against these cyber terrorists because I don't see anyone who is safe. Uh, these cyber terrorists are the people we must expose and they must be, uh, they must be arrested and locked up. Uh, we should, uh, let's not celebrate and, and every Christmas or New Year or Valentine on a day that someone is in trouble. Thank you. All right, Mr. Tinashe Jonasi, it was a pleasure talking to you. And as usual, I have you every Monday, except as we said, if there's something, a new development. So if tomorrow we wake up and uh, VP Mohad has resigned, we'll be back here again talking about this. Tomorrow I'll be back. We'll be talking about Susan Mutami. I was supposed to have that conversation today, that discussion today. We have it tomorrow where we talk about a criminal record and her CV in Australia. I've received that. So I just want to share quickly with the people tomorrow what and who is Susan Mutami and what was she doing in Australia. Thank you very much, Mr. Okay. Jonasi. So, and, so Mr. Uh, Gambawe, I, I, do yeah. you agree that it, this discussion is not conclusive? No, it's, it's not conclusive. I agree with you. Thank you. And um, I, I don't think it's over. That, okay. is, that is the point I wanted to make. Until it's over. And, yes. Okay. But if he lies, he must also be prepared to suffer the consequences when the people that I'm hoping will produce video do so. so if he lies, if he lies, even myself, Mr. Gambakwe, I, 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 would, do, I would also be tweeting or facebooking for the president to fire him okay okay that's great thank you very much mr jonasi and uh good night to everyone who's watching on facebook and youtube